never saw a penguin scared to water ever. This was the first time that we've seen something like this. <laughs> El pescado. She just wanted to get out of it, and she wanted to just escape. And it was sad to see how scared she was. Talia was found in Punta Hermosa Beach, south of Lima. She was orphaned, very small for her age. People was pushing her, pushing her into the water, and she was washed off several times. Okay. Okay. Pero veo bien samacadito. Vamos a revisarlo. Ya parece que está golpeado por todos lados. Vamos a llevarlo. Ya. She didn't know what to do. She was terrified by all the public around. When I first got her, it was really, really sad. She was trembling. Every time that a person would approach, she would just respond very frightfully, like pushing backwards her body. And we believe that Natalia had some kind of water phobia because of the way she was treated on the beach. I'm really worried for her. How are you supposed to release her in the ocean if she's so scared? I'm gonna call my friend Peter. He's a wildlife expert. And see if he has some advice. Hey Peter, how are you? I understand you're having some problems with Natalia. I never have these kind of cases, psychological trauma. So I know, what would you suggest? I think of starting her in a small pool of water and then giving her fish reward as she becomes acquainted with the water. And then gradually introducing to a larger, deeper pool, eventually that will get her over her fear of water. I'll keep you updated. Please stay in touch, Carlos. Bye, Peter. Have a good day. At first, I didn't have great news. Hello, Peter. We have tried to put her in the pool, and uh, she responded right. She wanted to get out. It's okay, Carlos. It'll take a while. How's she responding to the food? It doesn't seem quite interested in it, but we'll keep trying, yes. Muy bien. But then she started coming around. Hello, Peter. Carlos. And Natalia is starting to eat her fish. She's hair thin, but she's loving it. I think she's gonna do great with the fish. Glad to hear she's putting some pounds on. Now Natalia is placing her little bit in the water, and so she's starting to lose that fear. Keep giving her food, she'll start to associate being in the water with her food. And we be. She's getting into the medium-sized pool now for the first time. She's getting into the water by herself. Wish I had been there to see that. Hey, hello, Peter. Hey, Carlos, how are you? I'm very excited. We have a second penguin that we rescued. The second penguin is very active, very alert, and doesn't have any fear. So I think that's gonna be very, very good for Natalia. It's great that she'll have another animal of her same species to spend time with. Do you think she's ready to mingle with another penguin? Well, I think that she's going to be able to handle it. We're going to have to try and see. Natalia met Rosita and she did great. They're adorable together. I'm very confident she's gonna make it back into the rockery. This is a huge step forward. I think she's ready for the bigger pool. Se queda curiosa, eh? was very special. <laughs> Seeing her dive, that was great. Solo dirección, ¿ves cómo hace esto? Así, así. Para poder mover. Pero esto no lo hubiera hecho, no lo hacía dos días atrás, de ninguna manera. Hey, Peter. Well, we have great news. 
Natalia is just ready to go back to the water. Rosita and Natalia, <laughs> they're following each other, they're making penguin lives. <laughs> so we're gonna take them both into the ocean together. Oh, I think that's terrific. I think the odds are so much better that she's got a pair um, that can head out and, and join the rest of the rookery. Penguins are so challenged these days with overfishing and pollution. They are such a red-listed, highly endangered animal. I think it's terrific that any one of these can be saved. We're gonna take a little small boat into an island that is close to Lima and is protected by the community, by the fishermen. It's gonna be great for them to join the penguin side. I think it's just gonna be such a joyful day for all of you when you see her join the rest of the penguins where she belongs. Una, dos, tres. Va, camino sueltes. With Natalia was this moment of reflection, of self-awareness, of gratitude, of memories. She needed just to do that final step. Bye, no. It was amazing to see her making that final decision of actually, I'm free to go and I can do it. Of course, it's always this bittersweet thing, but what we ultimately want, that the penguins can rely on themselves without us. Amazing. Amazing. I'm, I'm very, very happy. Dos, tres. Orca! Misión cumplida. <laughs>